how to fix Fortnite bad image error. So after recent update, many players are facing this problem where they are not able to play Fortnite and this bad image error message is popping up on the screen. So if you're in Windows 11, 8 or 8.1 or 10, here is a video and I'm going to show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. The first and foremost, what you have to do is you have to go to your Fortnite directory. Now, as you can see, this is the Fortnite directory and many people ask me this question that where are these files or the Fortnite directory present? Well, for that, you have to know where your Fortnite is installed. I have installed my Fortnite in my C drive because I have the SSD in my C drive. So that makes the game a little bit more faster, it updates faster. So you have to know on which drive your Fortnite is installed. How will you know it? Pretty simple and easy. You can go to the search bar, type Fortnite over there, right click and go to open file location. So it will directly open you to the wherever the Fortnite is installed. So when you open that directory or the file, you could see that these four files will come up. Now over here, what you have to do is, this problem will fix your corrupted files if any corrupted files present. So what you have to do, go to the engine folder over here, double click on it, and you will find a binaries folder. Just select that binaries folder, go to delete, and simply permanently delete it. Simply just permanently delete it. These binary files will be gone and then go to Fortnite back and then go to Fortnite game. Select the binaries folder here and simply delete that as well. Make sure you permanently delete both of them. Now what we did is if any corrupted file is present in the binaries folder, because since we are having the problems with our executables, so all of them will be getting deleted. That will bring those file back, bring the fresh, fresh file back. What you have to do is you have to open your Epic Games Launcher. To do that, you have to just go to the search bar and type in Epic Games Launcher. And let it load. Now when it loads, as you can see, my Epic Game Store has loaded. What you have to do is you have to click on this Fortnite 3 DOS over here on the site. Right now you can see the resume button over there because since I have not updated Fortnite yet, since your Fortnite will be already updated, so you have to click on those three dots and you will find a word called as verify. Click on those verify button. Now since you have deleted those files from there, so there will be a word called as repair that will come over here in place of the resume. So you have to click on verify. What will it do is it will verify those files and if since those files are not present over there, so it will freshly download those deleted files and it will put it on your directory. Now since you have fresh files, now you can try to launch your game and probably it will fix your game. Now what if this doesn't fix, you can move to the second step. The next step would be to install your graphics drivers. Now since the error is said that it's an error of a bad image, that can be there will be some corruption in the display port. So what you can do is make sure your graphic drivers are updated to the latest version. And if you're having problem with the latest version, you can move backwards to the previous graphics version. Like you can download the previous version and simply install it and make sure to install it as a custom one. Like custom one, what it does is actually to remove the previous versions and then install it rather than the express install. What express install does is it actually installs over the things of what is currently present. So make sure you do the custom install and install a graphics driver. The third step we can do is you have to install the latest visual C++ redistributable. Now to know if the files are present or not, so simply go to the search bar and type in control panel. Once control panel loads, what you have to do is you will see a thing called as programs over here. Just simply click on it and then go to programs and features. Now when this opens, you can scroll down and you can see that I have Microsoft Visual C++ from 2005 to 2015 and even till 2019. I also have to install 2022 as well and 2000, um, the latest is 2022 obviously. So you have to install that. Now you must know that you must have all these files present on your PC. If they are not, make sure to install it. Now where will you go get these files? It's very simple and easy. You can go to any browser and just simply search Visual C++ redistribute all versions. There will be simply a lot of download links will come. You simply download and install all of them one by one and then try to play your game. The next step you can try is you have to update your windows. Now if you have already updated your windows and your windows is the latest version, then what you can do is you can simply uninstall some of the corrupted windows updates and then try to run the game. So how will you know that if the windows is corrupted? Well, very simple. After you have updated, you may see some changes in your computer or if your computer is acting like a little bit strange, you may know that which update was installed recently. 
You can simply go to the program file, simply right click and simply uninstall the, that particular update from the Windows. Now, if your Windows is not updated, then simply you can give an update, completely update it, simply restart your computer and then try to play the game. The next step that you can try is you can see whether if there any third party software which is hindering Fortnite and is not making it launch the game. How to do that? When you run Fortnite only, when you're run, running the application, you have to open your task manager on the site. And as you can see over here that there are certain applications which are running on my computer. Now when your Fortnite will be running, you will see some scenes like this. You have to see that when Fortnite is taking CPU uses or memory uses, you have to check which particular application is taking as much equal or a little bit less than memory uses in Fortnite. So if that's the case and that application is not required at that moment of time, you can simply end the task of that application. Like for example, if I don't need my OBS Studio, but I do need it since I'm recording, but since I don't need it, I, I will click, simply click on end task. So imagine my RTX voice is Fortnite and this OBS is taking more CPU uses. So that means both are connected. But since there would be some applications when you're running Fortnite, the second application will not be required, but still it is taking much more, much more RAM or much more CPU. So you can simply end the task and then try to run the game. The last and the foremost step, which I will definitely not suggest, but if you don't have any choice, you have to do that. You have to simply reinstall Fortnite. Now, if you have a very good internet connection that I don't think that will be a very much difficult problem. But if you have a less internet connection or not a very good internet connection, you can try all those previous steps first and then simply come to the conclusion of reinstalling Fortnite again. So those were some steps. Those were some simple fixes which you can do, which you can try. And uh, you can comment me below if the problem is still there with the error code message. And I will try to help you out immediately. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon. And if you're, this video helped you a little bit, please don't forget to hit the like button. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.